Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to our free online courses. And for today's courses, I will show you how to create a profile view in Civil 3D. Before that, I will tell you what is profile in Civil 3D. Profile is actually a tool that gives us to create the cross section of your surface according to the light, uh, to the alignment. So for example, you want to know the elevation of your surface, you will use profile, you will use profile view to create to show the elevations. Okay. So you can check uh for example, this alignment. I want to know what is the cross section according to alignment. So if you uh didn't know how to create the alignment, you can you may check our previous video on this free online uh, courses for creating alignment in civil 3D. Okay. Profile also be using be used to create uh, to insert the piping vertical pipe network and also to create the road or the corridor in uh, civil 3D. So to create a profile, first of all, you need to click on the alignment that you want to create to generate the profile view. For example, I click on this alignment and then you will find at the alignment for this alignment tab, there, were, there are surface profile. Okay, you click on this surface profile and it will automatically generate to you the uh, profile creation from the surface. Okay, so the setting here you may, you may set, for example, the alignment here, it already choose the alignment that I, I clicked just now. Okay, if you have more alignment, you may click this drop down and choose the other alignment. And then the surface. So for example, here I, I have all surface and also EG surface. So usually I will use all surface for the first time. I use all surface to check the elevation and I click on add. After you click on add, so now the setting for the surface according to alignment are being adding into your profile list down here. And I click on draw in profile view. So this is the setting for the profile view. All you do setting for the band, for the grid line, for the uh, from what station to what station you want to show the profile in uh, civil 3D, all the setting you do here. Okay, for example, the general setting. Select, uh, the select alignment will be the alignment that I choose just now. And then for the profile name, maybe I want to change it to CLRD profile. And this is the profile view style. So if I click this drop down, I can find there is more choices that I can choose to create my profile view. So this is actually automatically being created by Civil 3D. So you can also create it by yourself by creating a new star. Okay. So I click next. So this is the station range that I mentioned just now. For example, if you click on automatic, it will automatically start your profile from station zero to the end of the station of your alignment. So if you have specific a region of the alignment that you want to create the profile, you may use this user specific specified region range. Okay, you may insert the region, uh, the station, the first station you want to create until uh, what station you want to create the profile. So I I will use the automatic one, and then I click on next. So this one same as the station region, the setting, but this one is for the elevation. Okay, you may use automatic 
So for my elevation, the minimum elevation according to alignment just now is 186.41 meter. So if you have your own user specified uh, elevation you want, you can use this user specified button and enter the specific minimum elevation to the maximum elevation you want in the profile view. Okay, I'm using the automatic. And I click on next. So this one, the profile display option, just it just lists down what uh it may uh, what it's include in your profile view. And click on next again. This is the pen setting. Usually under the uh, under the profile, there will be the information about the profile. For example, this band set is EG and FG elevation and station. Okay. So you may choose other band set that you want to use and to want and you want to include in your uh, profile data. And then I click on next. So this is the hatching option. And I click on create profile view. Then after you click on create profile view, Civil 3D want you to specify where you want to place your profile view in your project. For example, I want to place my profile view here. So that is my profile view. So this is the existing line. So according to this alignment, this is the cross section of existing ground according to this part. Okay. And from this one, from this profile, you can also create a proposed profile. For example, you want to build or you want to construct the road in uh in this of uh sorry in this uh space in this region you want to create a road you want to construct the road so you need to create a proposed profile a proposed line for the road so you click on the profile and you, and you click on this profile creation tools click on this one and then you may rename uh this uh uh, profile line for the uh, the root okay for example this one is propose root okay. profile and then this is the setting for the line so usually the level set it will be a set as complete level set and then the profile style will be design profile, which means we propose it. This one for the propose. So I click OK. And then it will pop up this tool box for creating the line, the proposed line in the profile. So I click on this first button here. Usually, if you use Civil 3D, if this kind of box pop up, the first button will be the uh, will be the button for you to draw in Civil 3D, okay? Uh, it have draw tangent and also draw tangent with curves. If you don't want your proposed line have curve, you may use just a draw tangent. So if you want a curve, use this one with, ten with curve. So I use this draw tangent with curve. And then for example, my start point for my proposed line will be at this elevation, uh, one, one zero nine. Okay, and then I make it connect with the existing ground. Then here, at this point, and this point, and then if I want to. As is the command, I want to cancel the command. I want to uh, finish my create uh, finish creating the profile line, the new profile line. I click enter. So that is my profile uh, proposed line. So usually, if you're creating corridor after the, after this, 
the corridor will uh, use this line, this proposed line, to create a new road, a new road to construct a new road in the surface. Okay, so the line will be including the level. So the level here will show the elevation, the k value, and so on. Okay. So that is how you create thing, the profile view in stable trading. So thank you for your consideration. Thank you for your time. See you on our next free online course.